You know, already for some specialty areas in medicine, doctors like me are regularly overruled by computers. In intensive care, if you were taken or a member of your family into an intensive care unit, let's say with severe burns, so much so that you only have a 20% chance of surviving, you know something? The computer algorithms that have been developed are so powerful that they are more effective, more accurate, more of the time than any physician is likely to be. Which means that if I come to my own therapeutic decision, and it's a different decision than the computer, and I follow it, and my patient unfortunately dies, you know what? I will be up before the judges, I will be sued in the court of law, and the first thing the relatives will ask me is, Dr. Dixon, did you consult your computer? And I say, yes, I did. Did you follow the instructions on the computer? No, I did not. Well, do you not think that that might have contributed to the death of your patient? And where's my defense? So you can see that in future, it's going to become increasingly difficult to resist the onslaught of digital diagnosis. But if the doctor is forced to follow digital diagnosis from the computer, then the patient may also have access to the same algorithm. So online, I type in my blood sugar level, the fact that I've got a certain genetic code, the fact that I've discovered some other things about myself at a cost of $5 a pop. Put them in, and out comes the same algorithm, the same management program, and I can make then my own decisions. So we are entering a do-it-yourself health world.